All right. Welcome to our morning mindset. And this is my apology for not being here last week on Friday because we were, if you listen to the radio show, we were in Texas out in the grade wide open nowhere and we did not have a strong enough signal to do that. So sorry, that's just the way it is. But we are back this week and today's morning mindset is anger is not a strategy. Now some people will, will try and convince you that if you become angry, that it's a sin, that it's wrong, that anger is the same thing as hatred, and hatred leads to the dark side, and we don't want to do that. No, anger is a natural human emotion. You should be angry. If you're like, how come you're angry, Paul, or you seem like you're very angry. You know why I'm angry? Because I pay attention to what's actually happening in the world around me. And there's a lot of bad things happening in the world around me, and so sometimes it makes me angry. It should make you angry. Think about it like this. How many of you played high school football? You did, and if you didn't, just listen. So you're down by 14 points at halftime, and you go into the locker room, and the coach takes a helmet. How many of your coaches snatched up a helmet and threw it across the locker room? And they're like, are you guys going to let these people embarrass you? You're embarrassing the fans. You're shaming me. And what is he doing? He's trying to get you fired up. He's trying to get you angry. He's like, get out there. But anger is not a strategy. When you go to practice, do you go to practice angry? You're like, oh, I can't wait to get to practice there. I'm so angry. No. Anger is a short-term motivator. If you're angry... If you get angry, you should say to yourself, okay, why am I angry and what am I going to do? That is a short-term motivator, but it is not your overall strategy. If you have a problem, if you have an issue, in America today, we have problems, we have issues. We have to deal with those issues, but we can't deal with those issues through just the strategy of anger because anger is not a strategy. Human beings experience anger. Anger is a short-term motivator, but it's not a strategy. I'll take that with you. All right, thank you for joining me for today's Morning Mindset, Friday Morning Mindset. If you're not subscribed to the free newsletter, well, you're wrong, but you can fix yourself. Go to studentofthegun.com, click on the big orange button that says 7 Training Tips That Could Save Your Life. You get it for free, you sign up, you won't miss anything. And we'll see you on the TV show or be listening to us on the radio. Yeah, go to studentofthegunradio.com, studentofthegun.com, uh, go to studentofthegun.com and sign up. Now we're going to do a, Q, a quick Q&A session. we got about five minutes, so let's go with some questions. It looks like Facebook's... I didn't know we were going to do this. I'm not prepared. We, yeah, okay. Well, he's not prepared, so when acting out of emotion, even angry... Oh, that's not a question. It's also not a question. That's also not a question. You're welcome for the advice. Aaron says, thanks for the advice. Nobody else is as angry as you are, so you're just hurting yourself. Um, anger with guns? Question mark. I don't know, is that an actual question, or if... if someone is threatening to hurt you or hurt a member of your family, you should be angry. You should be very angry about that. No one has the right to harm you or your family, and if they're threatening to harm you or in the process of harming your family, you should be angry. Use that as a short-term motivator to do what needs to be done. Ricky Wu, first time, Woo! first time viewer here. Uh, welcome. We will cuddle you for a couple minutes, and then how to deal with my friends who won't get angry about our country right now? Mm. You can't. I know that name. Dismal you can't Jesse. make people care. Yeah. You have to lead by example. Lead by example. You can't make people care. You can't force them to care. So that's how you deal with it. And them. if you have friends, well, I mean, I've actually had people in my life who weren't of the same mindset as me or were a little softer or what have you, or they, they didn't really get it. And then after a month or two or a week or whatever, they're like, you know, I really wasn't paying attention before. But then I listened to you and I was like, ah, oh, he's kind of crazy. But I paid attention and I'm like, you know what? You're not angry enough. So give him time. Can we talk about 22 plinking? No. How do we channel that anger into something productive? Mm. Education, training, do something positive.
Take control of your life. There you go, Larry. Justin. Justin's a grad program member. He says... Just in case? He wants to talk about guns. No, he's, he's kidding. He's trying to make you angry now. Uh, it's a waste of time to try to open closed eyes. What's the best defense knife to carry? Uh, a one sharp that's sharp. One. A sharp one that has a clip on it that you can open with one hand. It's got a clip. What's the best AR armor's kit? Go to brownells.com. Yeah, brownells.com. One more question. We got one more question, and then we're going to jump off. Boxer briefs. And they're Who is going to the final four for my bracket? <laughs> it's obviously a grad program. Can I do this? I agree with my grandfather. I tried to argue. Uh, that's too long. I can't read it all. Sorry, Jeremy. Anger can be a great motivator, but it can be self-destructive also from Jimmy Green. All right, we're jumping off, guys. Thank you. Don't forget to go to studentofthegun.com and sign up for the seven training tips that could save your life.